Hey guys, I thought I would kind of start off my tea video a little different. Um, I have the Evergreen Chai. It's spicy ginger chai. It says you can drink it hot or you can use it over iced milk. Uh, I wanted to show you this before I run out of it because I literally have drank almost every bit and this is going to be my last um, one. But I am buying this because it is awesome. So, I wanted to show you guys what exactly it looks like. So it looks like, I can get that to, to show you guys. It's cane, like a cane sugar look. So the, it tells me that I need to heat four ounces of water, add four teaspoons of chai blend and stir, and then pour it over four ounces of hot or iced milk. So, okay, so my camera was being a butthole. We are going to heat up four ounces of hot water. The only way I know how to do this is to do it with a daggone bottle. So that's what I'm using in my Keurig. And I'm going to turn it off once it heats, once it hits up to four ounces. So there we go. Now, it says to use four teaspoons of this. I'm going to need one of my little teaspoons. And here is one of my teaspoons. So, this is like so not easy to do, you guys, while I'm trying to hold this camera. This is like impossible so I'm going to hold it up here and then I will show you guys how I put it in there so here there is my one teaspoon I may not have enough do a little bit more because I did not have enough in there. And I wanted a little bit stronger to be honest with you. I'm going to pour this a little bit in there. And so you just stir that. So I'm just taking the corner of my I'm stirring it. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells so good. So good. So, um, clove, spicy ginger. So, I'm going to take it to my code milk and I'm going to add it in. And it looks like there's still a little bit of leftover in there. So I'm going to just take a little bit of hot water and get it out of there. <clears throat> it is probably not meant to be used with a bottle. And my carry takes forever to load. So yeah. So there we go. I just need like the tiniest amount. I would not advise to heat this in a baby bottle, you know, but it's my only way of trying to find out how to get four ounces. All right, so there we go. Get my nice little straw ready. I'm going to stir it into my milk. Mm. And then I add my ice. And there you have it. There is iced chai tea that you don't got to go to a store to buy. Mm. So good. Creamy and spicy. Oh, it is so good. I love chai tea, you guys. So this brand is definitely my all-time fa all favorite of any of the tea boxes I have ever tried. I am a big-time chai fan, uh, but... I've never had one that I have been able to make um, 
iced or hot and that it came like this. Everything was already prepared for it. So this company is great, you guys. Um, I'll let you know some more about it once I get to my video. It should be coming up next. But thank you guys for watching. Bye. Hey guys, I know you probably just seen my last July video. So now is my August video. And this one was a very good month. Um, this one, they hit the nail on the head with all my favorites. So there's going to be some of these that I do not have um, in my hand because we have literally drank them and yeah. But I do have a video showing how I made one of these and I'm gonna put it in here and so that way you can see how I made it. That was my favorite of this entire one and I will stick that in. So my first one is the Vanilla Apple Hibiscus by the Republic of Tea. This is a caffeine free tea. It is a apple pie tea and it says here, apple pie is proof that apples and vanilla make an enticing duo. They are blended with exotic Nigerian hibiscus along with lively rose hips to create this aromic, uplifting herbal tea. And then it shows buy three, get one free with the code SIPS by T-R-O-T. If that's something you want to get. This one, very good. Like it says, apple pie. Literally a apple pie tea. My husband jacked every single one of these. Let me have a sip of one, but they were his all-time favorite, and he was drinking them left and right. Uh, so that one was a really good dessert tea. Um, I loved that one and the flavors it gave. Uh, the second one is the Mango and Leche Green Tea by Ahama Tea. This one's medium caffeine, and it's a British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. This tea is delicious, hot, or iced. And this one's 20% off with the code SIPSBY if you buy from their tea. And this is a green tea. My husband hated this tea, but I loved it. You could taste the mango and the lychee. And see, my husband's not very big on lychee, but I loved it. It is a very fruity, floral, just makes your mouth dance tea. Very, very flavorful. Shall we check the tea? Uh, and this was one of my favorites this month as well. And it is very good hot or iced. I've tried both. And so this one is my only last one. Because I didn't have to share it with my husband. So I had plenty. Uh, and I can't wait to drink some more of this. This one is so okay, good. Mom. So, okay, Mom. the next one. The Hazelnut Chicory by Ticino. This one is a caffeine free. I drink this at night in the bathtub. Can you give her her bottle? And this one, oh my gosh, tasted like coffee, like a hazelnut coffee. Give it her baba. I got Presley down there. And this one, it says, this blend lets you enjoy something simply rich. Yes, it does. Without worrying about calories or caffeine, it's nutrients, potassium, and fiber help keep you energized and healthy. And they give a 20% off code with Sips by Ticino 20. This was literally a replacement for coffee. I drank this in the morning, I drank this at night. Uh, my son, who is 15, almost 16, even partaked in this drink and loved it and wanted me to order him some so that he could drink it before he went to school, which I wouldn't have an issue with because like I said, it's caffeine free and you're getting potassium and fiber, which if you're gonna drink something that tastes like a dessert or like coffee, yeah, I'm gonna give that to you. That was a really good one, which is why I don't have any of it. And last but not least was the Spicy Ginger Chai by Evergreen Chai. This one is the one I have a video for, and I will show it right after I talk about it. Um, this one's evaporated cane juice, pesticide-free black tea powder, cinnamon powder, spice essentials, gum arabic, rosemary antioxidant, certified organic, and meets all organic standards. This one contained caffeine. A perfect original crafted blend of chai spices, including notes of ginger, peppercorn, clove, star anise, and cardamom. Caffeinated with pesticide-free black tea. They're very big on the hoe, pesticide-free. 20% uh, off with code SIPSBYCHAI. This one was great. Um, I did not drink this one hot because it offered that you could drink it cold, and I have always drank my chai tea mostly cold. Uh, this one, you didn't have to add any kind of extra, any honey, any, I added milk a little in mine to make mine code with my ice, but other than that, you didn't have to add your sugar. It was 
already prepared already for you and I will show you the guys the video now and uh, that's gonna be my end for my video but I wanted to let you guys see how I made it and how I prepared it for myself but if you guys are interested in anything everything's gonna be down below I hope you guys have a very blessed week and I will talk to you later bye